Stephen Z. Killer has become powerful. His channel has hit over 100,000 subscribers. He keeps getting stronger and has more room to grow, so subscribe to Stephen Z. Killer today. What's up, everybody? Stephen Z. Killer here for you another Dokkan Battle video. Now, last time I did do a reaction to the JP's newest LR, the one armed and amazing looking LR Gohan, future Gohan. Now we're here today to check out the newest animations and newest info drop on the newest dual Dokkan Fest for JP. And that is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the Kid Buu. Now as of watching this, I have not checked out any of the information. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I don't know the typings or any of that passive wise. We're going to check out all that information today after the super attack. So stay tuned for that. Also, we're on the road to 115,000 subscribers. I know we can hit this goal based off of this right here, showing 77% of you guys watching are not subscribed. Not subscribed means two reasons. One, you're new, or two, you're returning. Now, if you're either one of those, hopefully this is the video that gets you to subscribe today. So let's listen to the new OST and everything. New Goku, awesome. Ooh! So... He's a Super Saiyan 2 Goku. He's not Super Saiyan 3. Alright. You know, I'm not upset about this. I, I kind of like this. That still leaves room for a new Super Saiyan 3 in the future. But I hope he's on both categories. Because the Super Saiyan 2 category and Super Saiyan 3 need it. Okay. Yo, this looks good. Oh, all I have to say is I hope the passive is not too difficult to get him to Super Saiyan 3 because this looks sick. Oh, that card art. Okay. And listening to the OST. I didn't even notice that one. That was cool. I love the shot. I will say this is definitely not as hyped as the uh, one-armed future Gohan, but it is still awesome to see. And the OST is not bad. I don't think it's the it's my fa like most recent ones have been super banging. This is uh this is pretty good though. And I think that's supposed to be the card art, too. God, that looks so clean. We'll look at all the information afterwards. That was sick. Let's get to the Boo. All right, so this is Kid Boo. Lower just enough. There we go. All right, come on, Kid Boo. Let's go. We haven't had a new Kid Boo in such a long time. <laughs> Okay. Is that like, was that a counter or? Okay. Okay, okay, let me listen to the OC now. The pounding of the chest is kind of funny. Is 
So I'm wondering if this is like a counter or is this some type of nullification towards a super attack? Because this is the regular super attack. There you go. Sorry. Piece of hair was in my mouth from my beard or my mustache. Okay. Honestly, these are definitely not as hyped as, of course, as the Gohan, but they're solid. They're very solid. And Goku is Fizz, Super Saiyan 2, Life Threatening Battle, and Accelerated Battle. Key 3, HP 130, and Attack and Defense 170. Not bad. Passive, 2 key, Attack and Defense 180 off the bat. And then an additional attack and defense 50% when performing a super attack. Yo, that's that's a holy shit. That's a good chunk of fucking defense and attack off the bat. Launches an additional attack with a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Nice. And a high chance to perform a critical chit. Crit. Holy Holy shit, this is awesome. Okay. And raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and then medium chance to stun. So honestly, off the bat, I can say this, go for additionals. You want as many additionals with a high chance to perform a crit. You don't really need to give this guy, honestly, additionals and maybe dodge is what you want to go with this guy. I'm saying that right now. All right. Transformation conditions after three turns. Okay, that's not bad. Since the start of battle, when HP is 77% or lower, once only. So, okay, that's not too bad. So after three turns, if you get underneath 77%, easy transformation. That's what we like to see. Now, the Super Saiyan 3, Goku gets 12 key SA, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Uh, causes immense damage and medium chance to stun. Not bad, okay. Passive is pretty much the same. Gains an additional 20% on top of the attack and defense. Uh, gains an additional key. Plus an additional attack and defense. 50%. So that's pretty much the same. So it, overall, 20% more in this first part of the passive. Uh, launches up to two, up, launches two additional attacks with a medium chance uh, for them becoming a super attack. Really good. So you can get a lot of attacks with him. All right, plus an additional attack at uh, plus 50% and a great chance of uh, attack to become critical hit for six turns from first appearance. High chance to perform a critical hit starting from the seventh turn. Oh, you guys can't see it. Sorry. Move that up. Sorry about that. Uh, high chance to perform a critical hit starting from the seventh turn. Uh, from the first appearance. Okay, so he starts off with just a great chance, uh, and then it turns into a to a high chance after. That's all right, but honestly, he gets high chance off the bat with this. His setup is not bad; like it's solid. All right, let me get this back down. Let's check out what is Boo. Kid Boo, ooh, oh, and I and I re I have to readjust this. Give me a second. All right, so Kid Boo is STR, life threatening battle and margin power. That's not bad. Margin power, margin power, not bad. Okay, so another margin power. Um, although artificial life forms kind of needed a new. I feel like that could have been uh, his. All right, passive. Key 3 and attack and defense 180% plus an additional attack and defense 50%. Not bad, it's pretty much the same thing when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% up to 120 for every attack performed. Okay, additionals. You want additionals. Launches an additional attack with a medium chance to perform to become a super attack. Yeah, you want to give this guy nothing but additionals. It doesn't matter. He needs this so he can get... Let's see. In total, it full passive. 
You're looking at 350 attack and defense. And he only needs to do four attacks. He's busted good. All right. Um, and then recovers 20% HP at the end of the turn. If this character receives an attack. Not a bad, uh, not a bad condition to receive some heals. Great chance to nullify melee super attacks. Okay, so you can put him in front of a, a person who does super attacks that are melee type, and he stops them. All right, awesome. Uh, raises attack defense for one turn, causes immense damage with a meaning chance to stun the enemy. All right, not bad, not bad. Still, honestly, with this uh, right here, you still want additionals. This is 100% additionals is what you need for this guy. You can kind of give him crit, but he does have built-in 5 crit with him being STR. Uh, but you want to focus mostly on additionals. Alright, let me pop this back up so we can see the active. Alright, can act be activated when facing a Majin Buu Saga enemy. Or after receiving 6 attacks in battle. Okay, so... Can be active when facing. So it can be right off the bat when facing a Majin Buu Saga, but if there's not a Majin Buu Saga, and if you receive 6 attacks, then you can activate this. Attack and defense, plus 20% for the rest of the battle. This dude is solid. He's not totally broken, his active is still restricted by a good sense. I think Goku's active is a little bit easier, but this is still doable. It is not the worst, but it's not the best. Solid. Very, very solid. So... I don't know how you guys feel about these characters, but honestly, these are characters I would definitely summon for. These are definitely worth it. Now, are they better or uh, for you to summon for, even though the 7th anniversary is around the corner? Probably not, but they are solid. If you can pick up one or two copies of each, do it, and that's up to you. But the super attacks were amazing, and the passives and stuff look awesome and these units just look like they're going to be a fun time to use and of course whatever they're probably on a good map this doesn't have what teams they're on but i don't doubt that if you look at any kid boo or any super saiyan 2 to super saiyan 3 goku you know what teams i'll be on so anyways guys thank you for watching my video if you guys enjoyed this little quick reaction to the super attack and also the info then hit the like button I don't do these too often. I try to do these only when it comes to characters I like. But after the the uh, after the last video, honestly, I was like thinking maybe I should do this a little bit more, especially if it's for multiple units. So I'll probably do these more often for the dual Dokkan Fest and hype LRs that really get me go. Yes, I need it. So stay tuned for more guys and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Till then, later. This is the Prince of the Motherfucking Saiyans, and I am ordering you to subscribe to Steven Z. Killer!